Hi, my name is Max at Physical Therapy Connections in Pueblo, Colorado. It's not golf season quite yet. It's 20 degrees outside right now and snowing, but that gives you more time to even prepare to play better, feel better, and perform better. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today, and I've you've heard me talk about balance, strength, and posture. Today we're going to talk a little bit more on um, balance and mobility. So as we say in the, the golfer's rule it starts from the ground up so talking about that is I'm talking about our ankles people always neglect our ankles golfers neglect their ankles constantly but they always complain about either loss of balance or uneven surface or balls two two feet above them two feet below them uneven ground yada yada, yada. you've you guys all heard all that um, but today I'm going to explain what your range of motion is not the amount you can have. That amount is what you're able to do. Everybody's going to um, compensate in one way or another about their range of motion in their ankles. But one way I'm going to show you is we're going to use our own body measurements to measure the range of motion of our knee and our ankle. So one, we're going to measure the width of our hand. So I want you to measure the width of your hand. And average is four inches. Because what we're going to do with four inches the width of our hand is we're going to set it four inches away from the wall. So I'm going to have Adrian here follow me along. So I'm going to go about four inches, not about, I'm going to go four inches away from the wall. I'm going to place my foot at that four inch mark. If you can come around and, and I'm going to see if I can touch, keep my heel down on the floor constant keeping my heel down and bringing my knee all the way to the wall and touching the wall so that I know I'm able to do that so that's going to pass one of the tests my right side and I'm just I'm just coming close but I know already my right side doesn't do it I'm you can see how much limited I am on my right side so what I'm going to show you next is how to improve that with three-dimensional stretching and what I like to talk about is dynamic stretching because what I can't stand, and it just drives me crazy, is when I see golfers doing this business, and stretching it, and holding it, and holding it, and like, what are they doing? They're doing this. Who's gonna win, me or the muscle? Muscle's just gonna fight back and prevent it from injury. So they do this business, they do this business, they stretch and hold this business, but then they do this. You start swinging. It's like, to me, that makes no sense. You want the dynamic movement of your body pattern, but yet you're stretching in a static pattern. It's like, okay, that don't make any sense to me. So what I'm gonna teach you guys now is we're gonna go through a little bit of three-dimensional stretches for our ankles and our calves. And how I do it is we all know the old runner stretch. Everybody's done it 10,000 times. But this time I'm gonna do it in line. And I'm gonna keep my feet down, my heels down. I'm gonna rock forward and back. This is the sagittal plane. Like I said, there's three planes. Sagittal, frontal, and transverse. So sagittal is forward and back. Frontal side to side. And transverse is rotation. So as we do each, each ankle, each gastro, each calf muscle, stretching it out. Then we go side to side. Side to side. And then rotation. And why do we do those? Because we do that in every golf swing. We set up, we go forward. Our back swing, we go frontal plane, side to side. Our follow through, we have a rotation transverse plane. That one explains every single motion that you do in a golf swing. So to improve your golf swing, get ready for the golf this summer because it's still winter time, cold outside. Work on that. <clears throat> Again, test your range or your ankle and see if you're able to do that because that's going to affect because remember it starts from the ground up if you have any more questions you can contact us at 719-565-6678 or ptconnections-connect.com <coughs> um, until you, you watch me again we'll talk about next thing maybe posture thanks bye